Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my rollout sugar cookie recipe using abuelita chocolate. Abuelita chocolate is something that's very popular in the Hispanic community. We tend to keep it in our house whenever there's a cold front coming in or in the valley if the weather drops below 70 degrees, this will be sold out of the grocery store. I have, um, my grandparents kept this in the house all the time year round. And I was that kid uh, who was cutting off pieces of the chocolate just to nibble on it. It's so good. I love it by itself. It does come in block form, um, but I prefer to use the powdered version. So it's a lot easier to just scoop it out, add it to your milk or add it to your recipes without having to chop it up. Um, but definitely it's, it's something that we are used to eating with pan dulce or with cookies during the holiday time. So I thought, why not combine the two? And I incorporated it into my favorite chocolate cookie recipe. It uh, holds its shape very well. You can just drizzle some chocolate on it with some sprinkles, dip them in powdered sugar, or decorate them with royal icing like I did here. Um, but either way, it's a very versatile cookie. It holds its shape. It's very soft, tastes almost like a brownie with cinnamon when you bite into it, it's, it's just overall really, really delicious. If you'd like to try out the recipe, I'll go ahead and uh, post it in the comments below and let's get started. First, let's start off by creaming together the butter, shortening, sugar, and abuelita powder until it's light and fluffy. You may have to scrape your bowl down a few times just to make sure that everything is mixing together evenly. Now we'll add the eggs, vanilla, baking powder, and mix that thoroughly. Next, we will add the cocoa powder and mix until combined. Now it's time to add your flour. I usually add it in two or three parts, and I always start my mixer on low to make sure I prevent that big poof of flour in the air. Also, be sure to scrape down your bowl in between the additions of flour. You'll know the dough is ready when it starts to clump around the paddle. At this point, I like to scrape down all the dough and knead it together with my hands just to make sure that we don't over mix it. I always wrap my dough in cling wrap and place it in the fridge overnight since I do my baking in the morning. But if you'd like, you can leave it in the refrigerator for about four hours or so before you start rolling it out and you shouldn't have any issues with the dough spreading. I like to roll my cookies out to a quarter of an inch thick. After I cut out my shapes, I do place the tray in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And this is just an extra precaution to make sure that I don't have any spreading. Once you have your first tray in the refrigerator chilling, you can now turn your oven on to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I bake my cookies for about seven minutes or until the middle of the cookie is no longer shiny. As soon as they come out, I like to go over them with a fondant smoother just to ensure a flat surface for decorating. 
Just look at how beautiful these cookies come out and check out that fudgy center. They are absolutely delicious. I hope you all enjoy.